Hello, kia ora. Um, yeah, my name is Felix. Uh, I am the, the proud father of two daughters. I am from Montreal, Canada, so that explains my weird accent. And um, I am also the founder of Globaya, which is a nonprofit based in, in Montreal, but soon to be based in Wellington in three months uh, because we'll be moving here. So let me just state very quickly that uh, all that you will see and hear about was first inspired by the insight that I got 14 years ago when I came to the Taranaki Peninsula for my uh, master research in anthropology. So I was extremely inspired by what I discovered there. And uh, it's, it's kind of in the, the DNA of Globaya. So moving on, uh, and, and I have a lot to show, so if it's too quick, please um, you know, watch the replay in slow motion. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the, <laughs> the mission of Globaya is really to enhance our awareness about planet Earth, to strengthen our connection with the global system we're living in. And so we are exploring different themes. We think they are broad enough to give us a few decades of exploration of, it, uh, of us. Um, the first one is big history. You might have heard about this. It's about deep time, deep time thinking, the history of the universe, the Earth, life, and humanity as a whole narrative. So we are deeply um, uh, um, committed to big history. The other one is the ecosphere, so the global system we're living in. And this is really something that every global citizen should know about. We should be uh, more cognizant about planet Earth. And the third one is the Anthropocene. You've heard about this yesterday, I believe. Uh, so this is the, the era we're living in and that we contributed to. I mean, we are the, the, the dominant agent of the Anthropocene, and this is one of the images that I created to illustrate uh, this uh, weird uh, point in history we're at. Um, so just a quick uh, a few pictures just to show you what I did and, and this has been done with, uh, in, in partnership with the Stockholm Resilience Center over the past few years. So I had the incredible honor to, to work with uh, Johan Rockström and his team and some of which became, became my friends. So uh, imagine my surprise when I've learned that Johan was the laureate uh, for this year. It was a total coincidence or not, who knows. So I, I've, been, I've done a few um, you know, graphics uh, showing um, the great acceleration. Um, I've done some of the graphics for the planetary boundaries. So these are the planetary boundaries over time. Uh, so sorry, I have to, to switch slides very quickly. Uh, this one shows the, the global transport system. So extremely uh, packed with lots of data, but it shows the extent of human activities. Um, and um, I mean, for me at least, it's quite powerful to see the, these kind of things together. So this one shows also the anthroposphere, which is more the spatial component of the anthropocene. The anthropocene can be seen as the, you know, the period in time, but the, the spatial component is the anthroposphere. And here we can see even all the fisheries in the world and global transport. Uh, biocultural diversity, this is very interesting. All those spikes are languages, unique languages. So English is just one and we don't see it, it's in the UK. But, um, you know, and it's with uh, the, the vascular plant richness. So we see a correlation between bi biodiversity and all those worldviews and cosmovision that are uh, expressed through different languages. Uh, so a visualization of what's happening under us. And I love New Zealand, and this, this is part of the rationale behind me uh, being here because it's a living country, very geologically alive, uh, among other things. Uh, you know, abyssal plains, many different ways of seeing the same thing, but under different colors and pixels. Plastic pollution, this one is for Camden. Where are you? So, yeah. So I, I found it in my files yesterday, but, but it's not a, a, a very pretty picture. It's a, it's a sad story, but, you know, we have to, to show, to, to, uh, to see things, to believe in them most of the time. And the power of imagery is so powerful that it's beyond cultures. Uh, so fishing efforts and my time is about to be up, deforestation, river networks, all those things that are essential to be understood. Uh, this is the global uh, carbon dioxide cycle. So just a quick render that I, done, uh, I did a few months ago. 
um, but I have to cut it short. So I did some shows, and I hope to do that in in uh, in Wellington and New Zealand when I will come. So really, I'm looking forward to meet the creative and tech communities, and to meet uh, all the the EWEs and the government agencies and then cultural institutions and so on and so forth. So uh, just a few seconds, these are all the projects, but let's talk when we have time. Thank you very much, sorry. <laughs>